My name is Father John Hitchin. I'm the parish priest here of St. Catherine of Siena in Didsbury. I was appointed four years ago this month and my role really is to uh, celebrate Mass and the sacraments for the uh, parish community and to uh, be available to provide spiritual and religious support and any other support that they may seek from me. So we're looking at the history of St. Catherine's Parish. The only property belonging to the parish is a willing young priest, full of energy and hope, but empty of purse. I'm quoting there uh, from this history of the parish written in 1988. And those were the words of the first parish priest appointed in October 1928, Father Charles Wilkin, and there was absolutely nothing except, as it says, the priest. And the first masses were celebrated in the Liberal Club on Barlow Moor Road. But then the parish immediately began fundraising and within a short time, the following year, February 1929, the foundation stone was laid uh, in the building that is now our community centre. And so the parish began to grow with that. Um, the first baptisms all were celebrated uh, in Didsbury Lodge and a school was established there as well. And then a school was established next door to the community centre just a short time after the community centre or the hall, the church as it was then, was opened in June 1929. And from then until now, it has grown very steadily. One thing that was established early on in 1932 was a Boy Scout troop. And we still have um, the Scouts, as well as the, the Beavers and Cubs active here, and a ladies group and the Legion of Mary and various other organisations. The new school was ready by April 1937 and just in time for the war and provided a good education for many thousands of our young people, Catholic young people here in Didsbury who have passed through our school. Now one interesting fact that many people may not know is that originally there was a site uh, purchased to build a church on the corner of Ford Lane and Dean Road. And the crucifix that now stands outside our church stood on that site for many years as a marker. But eventually it was decided uh, not to build a church there and instead to use this site. And so this church was built. Um, the foundation stone here was laid um, in 1956 by the Bishop of the day, and we have a photograph of that um, here in the church as well as the foundation stone. And then the church shortly after that, this church was opened. And uh, it's an interesting design of building. Uh, the simple but imposing church with a fine purpose built presbytery adjoining was ready by December 1956. A study of the building before the opening revealed Though the architect was clearly influenced by the Romanesque, a medieval European style which preceded the Gothic, he had made no attempt to build a replica of a Romanesque church. This would have been far too expensive, he said. The influence is seen in the use of round arches, bambino tiles and pitch roofs, with the strongest characteristics of the period in the tower, which is an anglicised version of the campanile much in evidence in the northern parts of Italy. So the style of this church is very much of an Italian style. Um, so we're very blessed here in St. Catharines to have such a wonderful, light, airy church. And when I first entered the church, I thought how wonderful and light and airy it is. And it's uh, been particularly fortunate that it's so airy and light in present circumstances. One thing that was added within the first couple of years was the Lady Chapel. You can see over there a little chapel dedicated particularly to our Blessed Lady, the Mother of our Saviour, Jesus. And the church has grown and developed over the years since then to now have a very active and committed congregation. And we're very fortunate, very blessed here in St. Catharines to have many supporters and committed parishioners. And the former church was developed as a community centre and is still in use as such. It's used by the school as well, who've taken over part of it at the back. But it's uh, 
not been able to use it very much in these last 15 months, but it is a great asset for our church as well for social events and other gatherings. So in many ways, it is a fine parish and we're blessed in many ways and we're very much aware of that.